Hi, I'm Dan Linstead, and today we're going to talk about defining a data lake and what does it mean. Now, I'm not going to waste a whole lot of your time here. We're just going to take a, a couple of definitions. There's a whole lot of them out there on the web. This one is one that I found from TechTarget, and in particular, I don't really like it. A data lake is a storage repository that holds a vast amount of raw data. That's true in its native format. That's also true. Uh, but there's a couple of things missing from this. First is it doesn't talk about structure. Uh, and also the second thing is it goes on to define a data warehouse as storing data in files or folders. A data lake uses flat architecture to store data. That's not always true either. In fact, Hadoop stores things in files and directories and folders as well. So uh, I'm going to say that this definition is completely wrong uh, for two reasons. One, it doesn't understand what a data warehouse truly is. Uh, uh, and it also doesn't understand what a data lake is, nor does it mention structure. So what exactly is a data lake without structure? A data lake without structure is really a data dump, a data junkyard, a data swamp. Take your pick. There's any kinds of it. It's like sending your data scientist out in a hazmat suit to do a walk around uh, the dump to find things of value in a dump like this. Is this really the way you want to run your business? I don't think so. So what does it mean to have structure? Well, let's take a look at a proper definition. I like this definition from Tam and Dahl. A data lake is a storage repository that holds a vast amount of raw data in its native format, including structured, semi-structured, and unstructured data. Great. Uh, the data structure and requirements are not defined until the data is needed. Well, that's schema on read, so that's beautiful. We can definitely agree with that one. Uh, then one of the questions that comes as a result of this is Hadoop the only place to put a data lake? And of course, the answer is no. Uh, you can put it in a relational system as long as you process blobs. But processing blobs in a relational system is not the right place to do it. Hadoop's a better place and can handle that uh, processing much, much faster and easier. Well, um, that's it for me today. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you in the next video where we talk about what a data lake uh, architecture looks like. Take care.